Question mark. Acer Chromebook 13 adds NVIDIA's souped up Degra K1 processor. Chromebook are popular because they are usually really cheap, but the good news is they seem to be getting more powerful. New processors are finding their way into the latest Chromebooks, including a handful of Intel's laptop level Qfus. The Acer Chromebook 13 goes another route adding NVIDIA's new Tegra K1 processor, a powerful system on a chip that recently appeared in the NVIDIA Shield tablet. That new processor doesn't bump the price up too high. The Chromebook 13 starts at $279 in the U.S., a pretty reasonable neighborhood for a budget Chromebook. It's available for pre-sale today. UK and Australia availability are yet to be announced, but the U.S. price converts to around £165 or $300. The 13-inch Acer Chromebook has an all-white look that's rather like the HP Chromebook 11 from last year. Inside. The Tegra K1 processor should power web-based graphics nicely. A few demos I saw looked better than the average. The Tegra K1 combines a quad-core Cortex-A15 CPU with 192-core NVIDIA graphics. That extra graphics bunch, according to Acer, will help accelerate certain web apps and in browser gaming but this particular Acer Chromebook won't be able to take advantage of NVIDIA's other Tegra K1 optimized Android games or the game streaming services available on the Shield tablet. Multi-tab browsing, multitasking M10 person HD Google Hangouts via the 720p webcam do, however, aim to make this Chromebook competitive with Intel Core i-series level models. There are two USB 3.0 ports, me, an 802.11 acres Wi-Fi with MIMO antennas. The Chromebook 13 weighs 3.31 pounds, 1.5 kilograms, and has a comfy enough feel, with a wide trackpad. Battery life is estimated at 11-13 hours of video playback depending on which screen resolution you choose. For $279. You get a 1366x768 pixel 13.3 inch LCD display 2 GB of RAM and a 16 GB SSD. A $299, £180, $320 model bumps the display up to 1920x1080, while a $379, £225. O$410 model doubles up storage and memory to a 32GB SSD and 4GB of RAM. Unfortunately, none of the models offer touch screens. It all sounds pretty good for a budget Chromebook, although there are more affordable options out there, the specs and features here seem like they'd be worth it. What the potentially impressive quad-core Tegra K1, 192-core graphics can do for a web-based device like a Chromebook sound promising, even if it won't be exactly the same as on an Android tablet like the Shield. It shows that the Tegra K1 could end up in a bunch of products by the end of the year, and if it means improved budget products with solid battery life, that's excellent news.